a glory generation. Does your heart yearn and burn to enter into a greater dimension of an increase in the miraculous in your life? Be like Moses who prayed, showed us your glory, Lord. One notable miracle can save a whole town. One miracle reveals to all mankind the power and glory of the Lord, Jesus Christ. We must learn how to operate in the realm of glory. We have generate, operated so long in the anointing where healings occur, but it's more on an individual level. The minister prays for someone and they're healed. Then moving to the next, he prays and they're healed. The ministry is operating in the healing and anointing which covers him, and he releases it to the people. The glory cloud, however, is like a covering or a canopy that blankets the people. They all get touched. When the glory of God is present, there is direct contact with heaven. Revelation increases. The seer realm is opened. Gifts are operated, activated, and miracles happen all over the congregation. God has a higher dimension of his glory where faith is released to see a thing, declare it, and it will come to pass. The realm of glory is the eternal and timeless realm where God is and his creative power is released for instantaneous miracles. Hallelujah. We must learn to operate in forming the cloud of glory by participating with all our might and being. Are you partnering with heaven to create the cloud of his presence? And then he will come in all of his glory. We need to come into an understanding that the physical world was created and birthed from the spiritual realm. Our spirits are able to sense, recognize, and experience the spiritual realm. It is your spirit that receives revelation. We need to pray for a greater discerning of what God is releasing in this hour. If you see in the spirit what is coming from the glory the realm of glory, you can decree it and this will frame it in time and it will manifest in the natural. Timing is everything in the kingdom. It is the very important to move at the exact window of opportunity and take action before the window closes. Our natural minds cannot get in the way to rethink what God is doing. We must stop questioning God. We can't look for logical answers to move in the supernatural. We need to respond to God in faith. Learn to identify the leading of your spirit and then move upon it with faith. The spirit comes from the belly, not from the head. Out of the belly shall flow rivers of living water. This is what scripture says. The glory of the cloud of glory is created as we worship. The atmosphere, it thickens. It becomes spiritually heavy when the glory cloud is present. When this climate is right, we speak into the cloud of glory and we will see a release of miracles. Worship is a key for manifesting the glory and releasing the new song. Many services sing songs that have outlived their day. At one time, they were birthed by the Spirit, and they had power and carried revelation. But today, they have now become so familiar. The atmosphere being created is not filled with active living, faith, creativity, and revelation. People just sit like they have a remote control in their hands watching the TV. 
show as the worship team sings songs that are not quickening the spirit of the people to refresh and have a fresh and living God. Worship is key to releasing new sounds and realms of glory. It is a song of the Lord that flows from his heart as he sings through you to the body of Christ. He will sing a love song to you through you. When God sings his song through you, heaven is released on earth. Atmosphere is changed through worship. Are you creating an atmosphere in your home, your car? And when you come to corporate gatherings and you come together, are you releasing heaven into your life? We need to go up higher and be lifted up into the glory realm. There is a new sound of his voice riding on the praises of his people. Angels listen for the new sound. They hear it and come from all nations just to worship. Until we sing the new song, the greater realm of the Spirit will not be released in our minds and in our midst. Each of us ourselves need to go to this place of glory. No one can do this for you. You have a melody and a song within you that the Father is longing to hear your song. As we release the song of the Lord, it will lift us into a greater glory of his presence. You may not be able to sing it on key in the natural, but as you release yourself to be in his presence and allow the song of the Lord to come out of your mouth, you can be in perfect harmony as you sing in the spirit. When God's people hold back their praises, it doesn't seed the heavens for the glory reign. I've been to so many services where people cry out for God to rend the heavens and come down. And God is saying, you need to come up here. We have access as our praises rise like incense to the Lord. And then the glory comes down. The Holy Spirit is within you. Don't call for him to come down. Let him out of you to ascend in your praises. During the atmosphere of the new sound, God releases his word and heaven is brought into the now. Heaven collides with the natural earth and we enter into the timelessness and the eternal weight of his glory. We need to change the way we worship and learn what brings heaven. Our commission, get this revelation, when we are in the cloud of glory, we declare the word of the Lord and see it supernaturally manifest. We have access to the storehouses of heaven, provision, miracles, gifts, mantles, blessings, favor, whatever you need, you can have. When we declare a thing, it will be established suddenly. Corporate worship releases the kingdom of power and glory to be made manifest. God's kingdom stand, takes dominion on the earth and displaces every stronghold of the enemy. Psalms 149 says, Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. Christ will reign until all enemies are under his feet. 1 Corinthians 15 and 25. 
high praises destroys the plans of the enemy and brings to earth new realms of glory not yet revealed. We are in a new era of revealing of the mysteries of the kingdom for this generation. In the glory, it is a realm of timelessness where miracles in his presence are performed. The kind of praise breaks the constraints of the natural realm and opens doors of heaven. We step through the veil of this world into the heaven here on earth in the now. Let's pray this prayer out loud together. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, to awaken us, Father, into new realms of glory. Open our spiritual eyes and ears so that we may see and know your glory. Let the cry of Moses, I pray you, show me your glory. Father, let us see your goodness and pass before us. Wash us with your word so that we may have a resting place for your habitation. Awaken us to discern what you, O oh Lord, are releasing and to move quickly through the window of opportunity with no hesitation. I want to seed the heavens with my worship, O oh God, to bring the glory rain. We want to cultivate an atmosphere of God's presence in our lives through prayer, devotion, holiness, and humility. So when we come together corporately to worship, your glory cloud will be made manifest. Increase our strength to see and hear things in the earth. Open our spiritual senses into greater dimensions. We partner with you, Holy Spirit, to create the glory cloud and release your miracles in the earth today. We adore and love you, Lord, for the fuller and deeper dimensions of your spirit being made manifest in our lives today. Amen and an amen.